Hello everybody, thank you for joining us. Today we are going to study two upper body placements with inks and tones. So to start off, we will put in two frames, I guess side by side, because we are exploring uh, two different, I guess, uh, ink levels here and we will try to use pretty much the same framework for each so just put in some core framework here which is actually part of this exercise because while of course we are exploring uh, the like two different levels of fills in very very similar light source so the light source in this case is not too far off but there's like still a there's a difference between uh, both the uh, both the angles of of light which result in the different appearance of fills So they, yes, I mean, if the bodies are placed more or less similar to each other, it would be more beneficial because then the comparison is made a little more aptly. It's more precise. So the head is generic for now, but we are going to very soon end up with putting some more detail into the framework here uh, as a matter of fact So adding some muscle definition as well, as now that we are uh, beginning to ink, uh, sorry, utilize ink to uh, make the lines more discernible. Once again, we always maintain that using a fairly more developed built helps in studying the uh, this kind of element a little better because it's more challenging so if we can just get the uh, necessary elements on the page right here and we do actually for the most part and let's get this guy feeling at home as well and not neglected in terms of being given that wonderful ab structure. So let's actually throw in a set of ears just like that. Now while you're putting this out again if there are like some like minor differences between perhaps the 
at length. The girth of the two figures, it's, it's all right because uh, we are going to be inking this in a second and uh, not a lot of uh, things can be off even if some components in each are slightly different. For instance, like the abstract might end up being a little uh, different between the two. So that's just one example. So here's the core framework and you will notice how quick this exercise can be. So now we will attempt to make the light source work differently. So let's start with this guy over here and light source is uh, hitting from this side. So of course all the to, to start off all the angles that are away from the light source are immediately thrust into a darker tone. Perhaps a little. A little stroke there. And then we can keep like going piece by piece. Of course, it all also depends on, again, how, how far developed we intend to show this particular person. We can grab another marker. That one seems to be. And actually for, so this arm, just decided to throw it into deeper tones and leaving just that much right there in the light source. So just leaving that bit in light source and the rest is pretty much in the dark. That's an apt way to put it, I think. So the heftiness of the pecs also being dark right there. And then right here, quite the easy bit, just throwing in tones around the curvature of the pecs. This part of the body, like, you know, it bends, of course, there's, it's like a cylindrical thing, and it is in dark, leaving a hint of the obliques in light. here, upper body, sorry, uh, collarbone and up, sorry, so maybe an indent here for the, for the vein structure in the, in the throat area, and this can, mm, let me see here, that should like actually work. And then in the face, let's make that guy 
dark throughout. Curvature of the chin. And then, yeah, that will be dark as well for sure. That is one way in which we uh, made certain elements darker against the, against the light source here. Now in this way, now this one, we'll throw the light source. So here also, sorry, the light source is here direct, but also coming in like that. So here too light source coming in here and going uh, hitting the body like straight on so but the whole uh, idea is and i should have mentioned this from the outset that the the setting is not of intense light it is dim now this one will be more challenging because we have to shade from the outside in. So components that are inside will be uh, in light. So we can pretty much try to balance out the two portions here. But you'll see like this going to work dramatically in a more different sense than this. So just getting that out of the way and then we have to go like piece by piece there's no hurry here no rush of, of course we're doing this in real time and a part of that is to show how quick this exercise how quickly this is possible to get going together middle has to be uniform and these have to be pretty much detailed evenly that this is more of a darker aspect around the color structure and of course the tone can like come right down here it can be lighter or it could be as intense I think it'll be a little more along grayscale line here but it's okay for now we're using one tool and for the most part anyways. Of 
of course eventually how much I, I did not like leave a room for the mouth there now we could also have left that and I can if I wish to again leave a portion of it I can But it's not it's not it's not necessary it's uh that would be accurate as well if it's like you know all black like shadow shadowed in so those are two different levels uh, tonal values that we can uh, achieve and we've uh, done it like for the most part we just like used a marker to fill them in and with two varying angles of light and dark and of course once we are done we can always continue to add some crosshatch to add some additional details to uh, uh, keep adding like more dimension to the artwork according to our requirement and i'm just illustrating that here that with some very very subtle uh, placements of crosshatch the image can change quickly and for the better might as well add a little bit here too while you're doing this and there we have it so quick exercise and uh, two varying uh, fills and we are talking about two differently affecting angles of light so please do try it out a lot of fun and essential practice in anatomy thank you for watching and please do subscribe keep in touch have yourself a wonderful day